believe that all Americans love the land and love what this land stands for. It's easy to imagine that when we work to protect land or to conserve nature, that we're doing something in the world that isn't about ourselves. But in fact, what we're doing is expressing our own deepest values. We are engaging the question of what kind of legacy we want to leave for our children, our grandchildren, and for all time to come. Wisconsin has an extraordinary environmental tradition. It's really one of the states that helped create an American sense of our responsibility to the environment. From John Muir to Aldo Leopold to Gaylord Nelson, Wisconsin leaders have helped define Americans' sense of our responsibility to the land and to the environment. I think a lot of us worry that kids today are growing up without much experience of the natural world. The virtual world, the digital world is so seductive, so powerful, so engaging that it can seem boring to go out and look at a bird or watch a wetland and wonder what it is you're supposed to be looking at there. Kids have to uh, learn the wonder of the out of doors, learn the wonder of nature. Uh, it doesn't happen automatically anymore. We have to go out of our way to provide a facility for them to do that. That's what we have. The Nature Center is teaching many new generations how to see the world around them. And this continues the Leopold tradition. If we teach children to love the land, they will then be able to make decisions about how to heal the land and care for it as well. What we're doing is teaching students to see the land, understand what they see, and enjoy what they understand. We call our approach the place where high tech meets high touch. The beauty of what the Nature Center is trying to do is that it's using what children expect, that virtual experience, to invite them into what they're not expecting, which is the wonder of that world out there that these kids haven't yet experienced. They are taking children who are dialed into a digital world today. They're bringing them a multimedia experience, a scientific experience, a natural one. They're bringing this all together. What makes this place so special is that it is hands-on. In fact, it's feats on. I've been here where kids are, knee, are waist deep, chest deep in the water. That kind of practical education, they're not looking at pond life, they're feeling it and experiencing it and touching it and tasting it, covered with mud and they're thrilled. I don't even care what they walk out knowing. I hope they, they walk out imagining what they'd like to know. That's probably more important. That's the kind of learning that our kids need to be doing. That's the kind of experiential learning that I think every educational institution in this city and in this nation is striving for. I think a lot of us believe that in the 21st century, one of our great challenges is to imagine how this world of ours, how this society, how these technologies on which we depend, how they're to be sustained in the long run. And it's a problem we all face. The Elder Leopold Nature Center is educating our future generations and educating them toward a more sustainable future. The more where we can make children and adults, the more we can get them hands-on and understand what you do, what you touch affects our world. And with that knowledge, we have the power, the capacity, and I would argue the duty and obligation to make the critical decisions necessary to forge a sustainable future. We started off so small, and it was almost an accident. But what we're doing now is not an accident. Uh, we have this gorgeous new building. We have wonderful teachers, wonderful guides, and so from going to handling three or four, maybe thousand people maximum, uh, we can now handle 60, 70,000 kids a year. Here it's just a playground. The combination of the material that a person has access to here and the way in which they have access to it is simply uh, peerless. There's no place else like it. Nationally, I know of no other place that children teachers and parents can come to and get the kind of concentrated, hands-on, scientific, uh, peer-reviewed science that they can get here at the Ella Leopold Nature Center. It is truly a unique facility and environment.
What the Elder Leopold Nature Center is striving to accomplish is to invite children into the world of their own future, to look more closely in the pla at the places where they live, and to give them the tools they need to grow into the kinds of people who will be the stewards that Elder Leopold wanted them to be. The Leopold family has been thrilled with the activities that the Elder Leopold Nature Center has been creating for the Leopold legacy to be passed on to the next generation. I think the Aldo Leopold Nature Center stands for hope for the future. I think it stands for a different way of thinking about how we interact with, with, uh, with our environment. One has to be hopeful. It, uh, you never get any place by being negative. I think though there is a lot to do yet, but at least in this place, we're beginning to do it. The story here is not a negative one. It's not chicken little, the sky is falling, watch out, here comes climate change. It's quite the opposite. It's a very positive story about what you and I and all of us can do to make sure that we preserve this beautiful world. The one thing I hope everyone leaves here with is the sense that individual action matters. The choices they make every day are going to impact the environment and that they're part of the solution and really can change the world. To really train young minds into uh, a cadre of, of warriors to help with this problem across the globe, it, we need places like this. The most important reason to support the Aldo Leopold Nature Center is its importance to the future. When you support the Aldo Leopold Nature Center, what you're supporting is our children's future. What you're doing is saving our home. We can't rely on government resources to get the job done. We really need to step up as individuals and citizens and community members to support an extraordinary effort like this. The Aldo Leopold Nature Center continues to innovate, continues to grow, and with your help, continues to thrive.